Hello everybody, welcome back and sorry for the delays, you know how it is once school gets back in session. The time I have for video gaming and particularly for recording videos drops a lot, but we're back, finally, with another installment of Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution The Missing Link. Last time, when we left off, we had just come through the forward cargo hold and reached the ship's deck. We, our objective remains to reach the CIC, which I'm actually not sure what that stands for. Maybe I'll find out during this mission. Anyway, let's get started. We have read this already, so I don't have to worry about that. Just to remind everyone again that I am going for a Factory Zero and Pacifist playthrough, so I'll point out how to get maximum experience, but that isn't happening on this playthrough, because frankly I'm not equipped to do it. So let's head out here. We've got active bad guys again. There are ten in this segment. Eight of them are active right now, so let's drop the first one. Only doing single takedowns because we haven't got the augmentation to do doubles. 50 XP, my total's 2,025. He drops a pistol. He carries 12 credits and two pistol bullets. Let's hide his body. There are now five guys left on the actual deck. He should be safe back here. In the interest of safety, I'm gonna stop running. I could probably get over that if I weren't doing Factory Zero and had Jump Enhancement. Or if I find a stackable object, so I'll keep my eyes peeled for one. Up the stairs goes to the CIC. Straight ahead takes us to compartment 1B1 and compartment 2B1. Let's go there first. You can see the station we're heading towards and the very choppy ocean and the storm. I'm not usually overwhelmed by the graphics, but I like the... Uh, wasn't soon enough for Burke. Bastard couldn't wait the couple hours we held position. Had to fly out and see the stowaway for himself. And bring Kaita. I'll be his choice. I'll bet she had to talk pretty hard to be included. Base commander or not, she doesn't share much with the Burke in his bed. Well, I hope she learned what she needed to down in the hole, because once Burke gets this Joker in detention, no one will be hearing from him anytime soon. Good. I was there when we found him. We got five guys before we could do them. I'm not going to lose any sleep over here. Locking up someone in the Hey, watch what you're saying. We will not talk about the detainees. You know that. Shut up. Alright, we got two guys here. Gonna wait for this one to turn around. I wager he will eventually, and I'm right. Good. move the body before he gets spotted. That single takedown was another 50 XP. Brings my total to 2,075. Drag him all the way back to where I first popped up onto the deck. Now at this moment there are four guys left outside on the ship deck. I don't know, maybe it's just because I love rain and storms in real life, but I always like it when I encounter them in a video game, too. He carries 14 credits, and I'll double-check when I get back to where we dropped him, but I think he dropped a shotgun. A lot of these things look like doors, but they don't actually open, so... 
Things are pretty straightforward. Let's be careful at the corner, because we know it's part of somebody's patrol route. Looks like he's headed away from us right now, which is great. I don't know if I can roll up on him in time. I think he's going to turn around and walk back this way. Nope, we're good. Alright, so he dropped a pistol. That's... and he's just another old man. Same with all those spec on masters. There's nothing that does their own. Maybe, but you can't say they aren't effective. I heard rumors about what they did at the pirate town off your game. Scorch. Dropped a pistol. He carries 22 credits. I'm going to drag him away and try to be quiet while I do it. There are plenty of people around. There are now three guys left on the deck out here. We just accounted for two of them, which is awesome. No, I don't see the weapon that first guy dropped. But I'm pretty sure I'm right and it was a shotgun. And I think back here is sufficient hiding for this body. Drop him and we will continue. Now, I did notice on my way by, one of two alarm panels is here. They're level two hacks, so if you're not doing Factory Zero, you'll want, of course, to hack that for the experience. Let's go track down the other one now, but you know, before we do that, we'll take these guys down. Probably have to get the one against the wall first, because it looks like he isn't moving. He dropped a shotgun. That is, of course, another 50 XP. Need to stay quiet dragging him. I think there are guys above me who will hear me if I get up and run. That leaves two guys outside. At least one is already accounted for, which is always nice. I will point out, I'm always stealthy, so I haven't experienced it firsthand, but I've heard that based on your approach earlier in the ship and throughout this, the conversations these guys have will be very different. If you've triggered alarms, killed people, basically made the ship aware of your escape, they'll have very different dialogue than they do the way I'm playing, which has it so they still don't know I've busted out of the brig. On top of that, he carries one shotgun sh cartridge and 36 credits. Oh, there's the other gun. I guess it was just a pistol. I was wrong. I did wonder where that thing had gone. Alright, wash, rinse, and repeat. Let's 
wait for this gentleman to turn around and patrol away from us again. And we'll go ahead and drop it. Another 50 XP. He drops a pistol. He carries one pistol bullet and nine credits. As for us, I don't think we need to move this body. There should be one person left outside, so I'm going to look for them. Probably upstairs, but... Certainty pays. Well, here's where we would have ended up if we did hop over that. Now, back here. It's the... It's just a door to a storage area. I'm hoping to find the key code so I can figure out what's back there. It's a level 2 hack, so if you're not playing Factory Zero, obviously, you'll want to hack that. But let's head upstairs now. Cover the outside first, then I'll come back down, deal with the compartments, and then, finally, I'll go into the CIC up here. Ugh. I think I'm about to run across my last outside guard. There he is. Down he goes. Another 50 XP. He drops a pistol. He carries seven credits and a pocket secretary. Let's read it. Bridge balcony deck code from w.black at hzz.belltower.net to hzz-bt underscore security underscore all. To all units currently assigned main deck and bridge patrol, new code for the bridge's balcony deck, 1284, Lieutenant William H. Black, Operations Security, Bell Tower Associates. Well, that's wonderful. Let's drag him back downstairs, or at least around the corner. Where I think we should be good until I head inside. You know what, though? I don't like leaving him completely out in the open like this, so... I'm at least gonna haul him back here to where I haven't seen any guards. I'm gonna do the same with this guy. that. Oh yeah. Want to go upstairs and make sure I've covered the entire outside. So we do see a camera over there, which we'll just have to take care to avoid. There's another alarm panel. Again, if you're not doing Factory Zero, you'll want to hack that. Here's this, I believe, goes to the CIC. Let's believe that just for the moment and head over here instead. Now, we've encountered that stairway already, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. But what I do think we can do is hop onto this catwalk. hit the switch, and as it's moving, we can get into that storage area. 
Oh. Perfect. That's what I was trying for. So we can get back here. Anyway, you get a 100 XP exploration bonus. Just, I think it's the top of the gate that triggers it, but riding that moving catwalk does it too. Inside the lockers, we find a Cyber Boost Pro Energy Bar, which I will take, and a Rate of Fire upgrade, which I'll leave since I'm not even picking up weapons in my attempt to secure Factory Zero. Now, let's do this level one hack before I, just to get the hack accomplished before I head downstairs and go inside. <clears throat> Alright. It's a level one hack, so you can do it even in a Factory Zero playthrough. There are no data stores. So I'll just go straight for the exit node. Access 25 XP. Awesome. The camera gives you enough time, thankfully, to accomplish that hack. So with that all done, let's... I think this is the guard quarters, so inside down here, we'll just find, I think, two more guards. Not really a problem. That also says 2CIC, what do you know? Compartment 1B1. There they are. We've got to make sure everything's by the book from now on. Affirmative. Everything seems to be in order. The CIC is secure. Good. I'm sure there's going to be a security procedures analysis once we dock. The command won't be happy about the breach. Listen, the automated systems were activated. They detected a stowaway and we detained them. Simple. There's no security concern on this ship. I think the concern is over who this guy is and what he's doing here. He sure didn't look like any pirate I've ever seen. That's above our pay grade. Let the big heads discuss that. What are you doing here? Need to find a different spot to wait. I'm actually not even sure what that gentleman's patrol route is, so... Is the CIC laser array active? We've got to make sure everything's by the book from now on. Affirmative. Everything seems to be in order. The CIC is secure. Good. That active camera down the hall is definitely a concern. I think we can probably bag this guy without any trouble. Assuming the timing isn't terrible. Just need the camera to pan away. And I'll drop him. He dropped a shotgun. And drag his body outside. And then I'll search it. Oh. 
That leaves just the one gentleman inside there. I think he's sitting on the bed, so I'll probably have to make a noise and convince him to stand up. But this guy carries 16 credits. Awesome. Alright, let's get in here and see if we can bag his buddy without any real shenanigans. What the hell is that? Uh, we might be able to, but my energy hadn't quite finished refilling. Go figure. Okay. We're all set as far as that goes. I've got you. Okay. There is an active ghost bonus in this area, so it looks like I'm going to have to make some noise just to get him convince him to stand up. As he turns back around, we can drop him. Uh, he dropped a pistol, and he carries 29 credits. That's it for guards in this area, so let's search this little barracks. We've got a stopworm here next to the bed, a pocket secretary on the chair. Bridge CMPT-02B-01 code from w.black at hzz.belltower.net to hzz-bt underscore security underscore all to all units currently assigned main deck and bridge patrol. Don't ask me why, but IT changed the code for bridge crew quarters room CMPT-02B-01. It's now 6782. Lieutenant William H. Black, Operations Security, Bell Tower Associates. Also in here, we have an orange ebook. There are five of these in the missing link, and they're like the Hudero ebooks from the main game. Reading them is worth 200 XP, so let's read this one. Scholar 200. Electrogravitic technology applications. Oh, they're. Darrow ebooks, too. They're just orange in this one. From a technology demonstration lecture presented to the United States Air Force in August 2015 by Dr. Hugh Darrow of Darrow Industries. Based on an immature design of Russian origin, we've been looking at this technology as an applicable functionality for enhanced human subsystems in the military arena. While it isn't a substitute for an actual physical descent system, such as a fast rope or parafoil, the electrogravity generator is now at a level of intricacy whereby we can implant it in a human being. The core unit, the generator module and powertrain, is fusion bonded to bone at the base of the implantee's spine, and a distributed mix of dermal sensors and monitoring fibers in the inner ear work with a built-in accelerometer to activate it in a pulse phase mode if the implantee's body enters a state of uncontrolled fall for more than a couple of seconds. With practice, skilled operators have been able to drop from heights ranging from beyond 30 feet to upwards of 100 feet with zero fall trauma. You can understand why we nicknamed this the bungee cord in R&D. All right. So, keeping the camera in mind as we move through here. First, another hackable alarm panel, level two, so hack it if you're not playing Factory Zero. There's a staircase up to the CIC, which I'm not gonna mess with just yet. Let's head around the corner instead. Checking for goodies. I'm not finding anything. Back here at the door, you can hack this if you're, again, if you're not playing Factory Zero. It's a good thing to do. I, of course, am, so I can't hack it, but I do have the code, 6782. So, let's head inside. 
we have a newspaper. Which we've already read elsewhere. That's fine. Over here, we've got another pocket secretary. CIC laser terminal code from w.black at hzz.belltower.net to w.turner at hzz.belltower.net. Engineering just finished installing another new laser grid outside the CIC. Here's the code for the control terminal, 8790. Be sure to inform anyone under your command with proper CIC clearance, and remind them that grids are never to be taken offline unless otherwise told. Lieutenant William H. Black, Operations Security, Bell Tower Associates. Alright, that's cool. What else do we have? Another ebook. Mech Style, Augmentation Couture and Cutting Edge Cyberware for the Enhanced Human. The United Nations Biopolitik Vote, What It Means for You. Tai Young Medical's new BX series cyber limbs. Are the rumors of a 45% failure rate true? New enhancements for the Hermes Cyberleg Prosthesis. Full body conversions in the next decade. Top 5 Mech Style Picks, Implanted Cellular Phones and Digital Media Players. Lim opens new clinics in Glasgow, Oslo, and Wellington. The rise in black market cybernetics, can you afford to take the risk? Take a dive, we review the Airshore implanted rebreather device off the coast of Baja. We discuss the aftermath of the recent anti-augmentation riots in Dallas. Behind the scenes with Seraph Industries' new dermal sheath process. On the slopes with the AUG borders of Aspen. Looking to the future, where do we go next? The facts about nanotechnology. And we also find in the back a damage upgrade for your weapons, if you're so inclined, and another Cyber Boost Pro Energy Bar. Okay, now let's creep up those stairs. Just making sure to not to offend the camera in doing so. And we find a laser terminal. It's a level three hack, so again, if you're not playing Factory Zero, of course, hack it. I'll just enter the 8790 code and turn the lasers off. Now here, we've got a, a another alarm panel. Security rating two, hack it if you're not doing factory zero. I'm gonna end up saying that a lot throughout this playthrough, I think. If we run down this hallway, of course, we find this door where we performed the level one hack. So really, there's nothing left to do except go into the CIC. Let's do exactly that. Now there are a few things in here. That, I think, is the actual CIC, so... I don't want to mess too much with it just yet. Let's check this newspaper. It's the same one we've seen. I'm knocking over computer monitors, that's always fun. Looks like... Rifleman Bank Station, bearing R337.5, relative. There's an unlocked computer here, which... I'm gonna look at in just a second. I think we should do first is explore. Starboard bow thrusters to one third. Inside this vent, there's a chip with 127 credits on it. Going through the vent just takes us back outside the CIC. A door that's not open yet, and a third alarm panel, which you non Factory Zero players will, of course, want to hack. In the meantime, there's another unlocked computer. We'll check out both of those. I'm just, I'm kind of looking for something at the moment. There it is. A 100 XP traveler bonus for getting into this vent that's under the CIC. Here's an alternate entrance. Heavy storms, good visibility, becoming poor in showers, moderate ice. Another alternate entrance. Unsettled weather affecting Thailand and Strait of Malacca. Expect scattered squally showers and thunderstorms. All right, let's check the two unlocked computers now. This one, 
From k.cur at hzz.belltower.net to hzzcic underscore cmd02, weather report, abstract of log, weather over the last 2400 hours, zero zero, wind southwest, scale four, remarks, moderate sea swell, fine with misty patches, 0400, wind west, scale six, remarks, rough sea, heavy swell, heavy clouds, squalls, 0800, wind west, scale six, Remarks, rough sea, heavy swell, heavy clouds and clear with heavy rain squalls. 1200, with west-northwest, scale 7. Remarks, moderate gale, very rough sea. Stabilizing fins deployed. Roll reduced to acceptable Heavy balance. swell overcast with rain squalls. 1600, wind west by north, scale 10. Remarks, whole gale, very high sea, heavy confused swell, heavy clouds and torrential thunderstorms. 2000, wind south southwest, scale 8, remarks, moderate to strong gale, high sea, heavy swell, heavy clouds, and moderate thunderstorms. 2400, wind south by west, scale 9, remarks, strong gale, very high sea, very heavy swells, overcast with rain squalls. From rbs-bt underscore port authority to e.hawkins at hzz.belltower.net, regarding emergency, mayday, mayday. Affirmative, Hai Zhenzhu. Your situation has been reported, and we are organizing a response team to assist. Rifleman Bank Station, bearing R337.5. Please switch to low sec frequencies and change your channel address to 184.37. Stand by for second ra radio contact attempt from Lieutenant Commander Keitner. Ewan Hawkins, e.hawkins at hzz.belltower.net, wrote, To anyone who reads this, this is the Hai Zhenzhu. SATCOM is down and we are under attack. Unknown number of assailants aboard. Casualties reported. Requesting immediate assistance. Ewan Hawkins, SN, Bell Tower Associates. Starboard bow thrusters to one From e.hawkins at hzz.belltower.net to hzzcic underscore cmd02. Radio log, transcript 33 to 1. Radio log. Transcript 331, transcript ID tax 9, 900003A, read as recorded. C33, Rifleman Bank Station, this is Hai Zhenzhu, how copy, over. C21, 5x5, Hai Zhenzhu, loud and clear, what is your situation? C33, stand by, dead air. Rifleman Bank Station, bearing R337.5. Point five. Command, this is Renegade Actual, sit rep, over. C-21, this is Command, send. C-33, Forward Cargo Security Detachment received contact with single unidentified personnel. Individual was hostile as casualties were reported. Hostile contact has been subdued and captured alive, break. C-33, currently observing possible enemy entry point and sweeping holds for further contacts, break. C-33, will advise if come under further contact, but intent is to hold firm. Stabilizing fins deployed. Roll reduced to acceptable value. Break. C-33. Request transport helicopter reinforcement and pickup delivery of prisoner on aforementioned grid. How copy? C-21. Command. Solid copy on all. Reference request. Wait. Out. From RBS-BT underscore Port Authority to E.Hawkins at HZZ.BellTower.net regarding docking request. Affirmative. Docking request accepted. We got a slot open. Following Commander Burke and Lieutenant Commander Keitner's secu security inspection, you are granted permission to approach and initiate pre-docking procedures outside Loading Bay 2. Ewan Hawkins, e.hawkins at hzz.belltower.net, wrote, Solid copy on last transmission. Confirmed arrival of Le Commander Burke, Lieutenant Commander Keitner, and relief security entourage. Requesting permission to initiate pre-docking procedures. Ewan Hawkins, SN, Belltower Associates. All right, let's go check out the other one. Starboard bow thrusters to From autos underscore support at hzz.belltower.net to hzz-bt underscore engineering underscore all. Warning, immediate attention required. Emergency log, support ID 10226, machine name, hzz-bt underscore 4crg underscore ctrl underscore one, local ID 41, status unknown. Description from auto underscore support at hzz.belltower.net. Begin report. Item stasis pod. Stabilizing fins deployed. Roll reduced. Number 73. Status critical. Error reports. 
Power supply disrupted. Energy level low. Auxil auxiliary reserve 18%. Life support. Vitals core only. Nervous system stressed. Neuroactivity low to high. Cardiac output extreme. Overall unstable. Failing. Diagnostics. Occupant expiration imminent. Recommendations. Immediate attachment to non-auxiliary power supply. End report. From auto underscore... Rifleman Bank Station. From auto underscore support at hzz.belltower.net to hzz-bt underscore engineering underscore all. Update support ID 10226. Emergency log support ID 10226. Machine name hzz-bt underscore core. Local ID 41. Status unknown. Description from auto underscore support at hzz.belltower.net. Begin report. Items. Stabilizing fins deployed. Stasis pod number 73, status optimal, error reports none. Status of previous error reports. Power supply engaged, energy level recharging, auxiliary reserve 11%, life support online, nervous system stable, neuroactivity optimal, cardiac output optimal, overall optimal. Diagnostics, occupants, stability restored. Recommendations, further monitoring of stasis pod status may be required, end report. That, of course, is the unknown stasis pod occupant who we saved by completing the side quest. This would be different if we didn't. I imagine it would tell us they were dead. From g.quinn at rbs.belltower.net to hzz-bt underscore securing underscore engineering underscore all. Regarding update support ID 10226. Whoever took care of that, good on ya. Now, can we get a team down there? Thrusters to clean up the rest of that bloody mess, we still got a bleeding hole the size of your mum's arse in the floor of the forward cargo hold. Get on it, Q. Now, we'll head into the CIC. Proper. This area. Richard. Francis Pritchard isn't going to be hearing you anytime soon, Bratan. Not only this close to the base, he's jamming her Who the hell are you? Someone who's gone to a lot of trouble to make your escape look like accident. So far, your skill at playing the ghost is working in our favor. But it's only a matter of time before those Roddy realize you slipped a brick. Get to the aft cargo bay. Find the sally port there and enter it. You're going to encounter more resistance. But the longer you stay undetected, the better off your future will be. All right. Locate the CIC gave me 2,500 point getting things done bonus. I also got the 500 point ghost bonus and the 250 XP smooth operator bonus. Gave me a second praxis point, which of course I won't spend. Completed the objective locate the CIC. New objective, locate the sally port. Apparently I've got a guardian angel. His name's not Pritchard and I'm not sure I should trust him, but if I want to get off this ship, I will need to reach its sally port. According to my angel, it's in the aft cargo hold. Good. We can stay in the CIC and monitor the docking. Then we'll check out the damage and help Burke's guys transfer the storm. Alright, what are these guys gonna do? Two guys come in after that little cutscene. If that wasn't obvious. I want to take both of them down, of course. Singles only, because that's your only option in Factory Zero. So that one drops a shotgun. I'll try dragging him into the vent. He's got a frag grenade, which I won't even pick up, and 24 credits. I need to wait for my energy cell to recharge.
And then I need to drop the other one. the shotgun and he's carrying 78 credits now just briefly let's check out the rest of this stuff there's a locked computer in here but it only has a security rating of one so we'll hack it in a second there's also a security hub here that one's a this one's a level two hack so I can't do it Finally, there's a fourth alarm panel in here, also a level 2 hack. Let's see what's inside these lockers. Two boxes of tranquilizer darts, a nuke virus, and a cyber boost pro energy pack. Now let's hack this level 1 computer and see what we find. HZZCIC underscore CMD01. That's fine and dandy. I see for mid -area Stay Southeast, Stay Stay there is the one data store along the way, but it is right along the way, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Alright, the data store had 100 XP in it, plus 25 for the hack itself. Alright. From m.hayes at rbs.belltower.net to h.blake at rbs.belltower.net regarding something ain't right. I'm on it, but the ship's security team is a skeleton crew at best, and they're pretty shaken up. Even with the stowaway locked up in the brig, I'm still getting complaints of false positives in the security system and bullshit maintenance calls. Might be the storm knocking a few screws loose in the onboard AI, or it might be something else. All I'm saying is this could be a lot more serious than we think. Hank Blake, h.blake at rbs.belltower.net wrote, I didn't ask for theories, Private, I asked for answers. I'll be in contact with the seaport as soon as the storm lets up and our s SATCOM array is back online. In the meantime, I want the ship's personnel manifest and last known destination and departure logs now. Martin Hayes, m.hayes at rbs.belltower.net wrote, Sir, something is up. After we came aboard, I questioned some of the crew, and they reported hearing an explosion back in Port Han Ming. Apparently, there was a lot of commotion from the ground team before loading the Delta cargo, which contained the stasis pod our stowaway rode in on. No one seemed able to get their story straight. So I can't tell if the explosion was part of an attack or just an accident. But why none of these events were recorded or even reported to HQ is beyond me. It's possible someone intentionally hid this information from Central, or wanted to prevent command from hearing about it. I think someone is intentionally sabotaging us. Hayes. From mail server at rbs.belltower.net. To h.blake at rbs.belltower.net. Auto reply, ship manifest. Delivery confirmation of forwarded message from mail recipient p.burke at rbs.belltower.net. Begin forward message. Zero hours to 0400. Anchored on Port of Han Ming, Hengsha Island. Rifleman Bank Station, bearing R337.5. Vessel in status alpha. Made regular routine security checks of vessel. Slash S slash P, Waters SN. 0400 to 0800. Anchored as before. Made regular routine security checks of vessel. 0600, called duty cook. 0630, secured main and anchor lights. 0700, Reveille, called all hands. Slash S slash P, Waters SN. 
0800 to 1200, anchored as before, made regular routine security checks of vessel. 0800 crew turned to on ship's work. 0900, inspection of ship's armory. All small arms and ammunition accounted for. 1130, crew secured from ship's work. 11.55, CSS Hyacinth, WAQL-203, arrived with supplies and returned Liberty Party. Following personnel returned from compensatory absence as indicated, Preston, Jamie L, 247-053, EN1, EN1, 7 days. Brennan, Aiden L, 272-538, SR, 7 days. Fox, John J, 307-973, SA, 7 days. Quinn, Garvin, 3... Southwest Gale 8, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 
I'm going to update my quick save, and I'm going to call it a video. This has been the third installment of Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution The Missing Link. We reached the CIC. Our mystery ally directed us to the Sally Port in the aft cargo hold, so we'll handle that next time. Until then, thanks for watching. Bye bye.